again. Uh, when we are excavating for the manholes, we shall consider the manhole schedule. Uh, we go to manhole 1. The length of manhole 1, we shall get it from the schedule is 900 and the width is 650. The, mm -hmm, 650. So, uh, if we want to know what uh, size of the pit we shall excavate for the manhole, we shall take the internal, internal measurements of the manhole, then we shall add the walls. We add the walls. Mm -hmm. The walls on both sides there, 150. Uh, millimeters so 2 times 150 2 times 150 for the length and for the width so uh, then we have the projection projection is this side that is projecting and this side which is projecting it's 150 times 2 on the length and 150 times 2 on the width so uh, when we add this we shall get 1500 and for the width we shall get 1250 so uh, for the depth so that is the total length, total width. Okay, let's go to depth. The depth, they are told that the ground level is 96.5 and the invert level is 95.80. Remember the invert level is that this level inside the pipe at the bottom. So we shall take ground level minus invert level, we get 0 0.7. So that is the depth from uh, the ground level, assuming that the ground level is here. So from here, we shall excavate up to here, uh, one, 0 0.7. Then we shall add 50. 50 it entails the thickness of the pipe and the, uh, any blinding that we shall do below the pipe or the finish. The total thickness is 50. Then the concrete from below here up to the bottom of the pit is 150 so if we add 50 plus 150 we get 200 in meters it is 0 0.2 so the total depth we shall excavate we shall take 0 0.7 plus 0 0.2 which is 0 0.9 remember we, ex we excavate from the smm we excavate in stages of 1.5 meters so this one it's not more than 1.5 so we shall excavate all of it 0 0.9 Okay, we go to manhole 2. Manhole 2, the length, the internal length is 1000. The width is 800. We shall add also the walls, both sides, for the length 2 times 150, for the width 2 times 150. Then we add 2 times 150 for the projection and 2 times 150 for the projection. Remember, we are excavating the holes. So we shall excavate even everywhere where we shall have something and remember the projection is holding the concrete so we have to excavate it so the total length shall be 1600 total width 1400 what is the depth of the manhole uh, we shall take the ground level 96.5 and the invert level 95 so when we deduct we shall get 1.5 then add the channel which is zero point two the total remember uh, 0 0.5 was for the thickness of the pipe and the preparation that you shall do before doing the pipe either uh, doing the plaster or even some blading below the pipe uh, then we add the concrete which is 1.5 we get the total 0 uh, 1.5 and we shall get the total less 0 0.2 meters so 1.5 plus uh, the concrete is 150 so 150 plus 50 200 so this 0 0.2 is from that 200. Okay, 1.5 plus 0 0.2, we get 1.7. And this, because it is 1.7 meters, we shall excavate it in stages of 1.5. So for the first one, we shall get, we shall excavate the first 1.5. Then the second one, we shall take 1.7 minus 1.5. We get 0 0.2. So the first stage, shall we shall excavate 1.5. Then in the second stage, we shall excavate 0 0.2. Remember, we said that we shall excavate in stages as directed by the SMM because uh, excavating the first stage, you, it cannot, should not be as expensive as excavating the next stage. Because the deeper we go, the more expensive it is. And the expense is usually measured in ranges of 1.5 meters deep. Alright, so we shall go to manhole 3. Manhole 3, the length is 1200, the width is 800. We add the walls, the projections, we get 1800 and 1400. For the depth, we take ground level minus invert level, we get 2.6. We add the channel, uh -huh, 
to get there to the bottom of the manhole we get 2.8 so for the first stage we shall excavate uh, 1.5 the second stage we shall excavate 1.3 okay so we shall go now to excavating pits to receive manhole not exceeding 1.5 meters deep uh, commencing from ground level and cut away that soil so all those measurements that we have measured we have measured the length for manhole 1 1.5 the width 1.25 the depth 0.9 within them we book them here so my uh, manhole 2 the length 1.6 width uh, 1.4 and depth 1.5 manhole 3 the length 1.8 width 1.4 and the depth 1.5 for the first stage then remember for manhole 2 and manhole 3 we have uh, another stage so we shall take the steel the length of manhole 2 the width of manhole uh, 2 then the balance for the second stage now uh -huh. for manhole 3 we shall take the length of manhole 3 the width of manhole 3 and the balance of the uh, second st for the second stage for manhole 3 so we shall we shall write excavate as uh, above described uh, 1.5 meters but not exceeding 3 meters deep commencing from 1.5 meters below the ground level and also we shall cut away this soil so these ones here are the drawing uh, I have just screenshot from the previous uh, calculations we have done so that you can be able to see where they were coming from the length mm -hmm to follow through uh, so you can just see here we have the length the width the depth uh-huh the length the width the depth in stages and the length width and the depth in stages so that is the end of our video for the drainage works if you have any question write it in the uh, comment section and thank you for your continuous watching sharing our videos and liking them if you like this video and remember to give it a thumbs up so see you in the next video